Hello guys and girls and welcome back to the channel. This is Tom, this is T-Dubs and this is the Bespoke Buses Workshop. In today's video we are going to be building a halo roof among other things in a customer's van. We've chosen to create our design on the workbench and build it separately and install it separately. I know that some people out there like to build it in one piece and then try and get it inside the van but we don't particularly want to do it that way just in case something gets damaged etc then you've got to take it all out and start again so welcome back to the channel if you're new to the channel um, you'll realize that most of my videos now will be filmed in this workshop uh, which is beginning to look a little bit better as I have a tendency to have a little bit of OCD uh, you'll notice now on the rack back behind me here uh, let me just spin around and you can have a look uh, courtesy of Evo Designs, um, sending us lots of this wood, uh, we've managed to build ourselves a quite a trick little tool cabinet and again for my chosen tool is Ryobi. So a big shout out to you guys from Ryobi UK uh, and Ryobi Europe, thank you guys these things are absolutely epic. Um, so if you want to get on our cool wall at the back here and uh, just Give us a message and I'll send you the address and you can get your top up here. So far still guys, bit of a lame uh, effort from you lot. Bit of free publicity for you. But we've got beach bums. These guys are quality. I met them at at the pub. They've got some really cool stuff. Uh, obviously the low down transporters is looking a little dirty. Rusty Lee is up there, low down again. And a massive shout out to Lee at um, Fantastic. Right, so. Without further ado, let's crack on and let's get this video well and truly underway. Let's go. Hello guys, so what we're going to be doing is creating a halo roof in the back of this van. Um, so to start with, you need to be removing your old headlining um, as a first process. Once you've done that, you're going to need to create a single piece. Now you can either do that in a new fresh piece of ply or you can manipulate and adapt the two that are already existing and add a center piece. Once you've chosen whether you're going to use uh, a new piece of ply or make use of the existing ply headlining, it's time to cover it. So once you've chosen what you're going to cover it in, um, for this one we've used um, the foam back suede from Harrison Trim Supplies, uh, there's a link in the description below, thanks guys, uh, big shout out to you, uh, your products are still the best on the market, um, I think everyone sells your products under their name anyway, so happy days. Um, so this is lined, this is ready to go in the van, let's get it installed. Once you've got the lining up into place, we can now work on the sides of the halo roof. What we're looking for is um, some measurements really at the moment. So um, first measurement we're gonna go for is top of the B pillar area, um, all the way to the very back of the van. Now, if you're building just the halo roof, then you're gonna be coming to the back and then going round at the back of the van. Where we're going to be building a bespoke speaker box it's going to be coming out a little bit further. Now we're going to probably be coming to around this area here. The owners of the vehicle um, which you will see in the end of the video. I think I might, yeah, let's do it, let's get them involved. Um, 
they've asked for a this sort of speaker box at the back to have a storage compartment in it as well so they've got like a shelf so that's fine um, we're gonna custom bespoke make one so happy days um, so what we're looking for for us is around this area here so we're going to be taking a measurement to about there from the B pillar and then scribing in obviously the shapes for both sides now this is quite handy I don't know if you noticed it's a twin slider so both parts of the roof are the same so actually I only need to do one and the other side will be the same so let's go check it out the good thing about doing these uh, halo roofs is not every single one is the same they're all completely different I say completely different they're all a little bit different uh, I don't like to make them the same neither does Simon so they're all a little bit different so this one on the other hand because it's a twin slider I thought it would be really nice to have um, so this effectively is the roof and this is the area. So we're going to have a curve coming in and follows rounds for the door shape. This marking here is the C pillar. So it's going to turn in to the door and curve around and then finish. But I'm going to want it that big. So this is around 100, 100 mil here. 150 mil so a nice curve into the 150 mil and then it stops now that at the moment is the full length of the van i haven't allowed for the speaker box which is templated at the moment i haven't finished that yet i'm just working out what i'm going to do and how i'm going to do it at the moment um so yeah that's nearly done so i'm going to crack on with these get these cut out so let's check out what we've got so far both sides of the halo are done they are now done in 12 and 12 mil so what 24 mil gap or um, 24 mil halo whatever you want to call it uh, coming down from the roof itself uh, we've gone for quite a simple but nice effective design so a um, little bit of shape and then when it gets down to the rear it's going to sort of curve around that's still in here. I've got to get it on the wood, as it were. Uh, channel recess in underneath for all the cables. Um, and then the speaker box made out of some nice wood from Evo Design. So a few little touches up to do, and then this thing is ready to rock. Um, you'll see that we've lined the edges in the carpet to sort of match the walls and then we've added some LED lighting in that too. The panels are all in, the LED side lights are in, the LED halo lights are in and it's just a case of turning them on and checking it out. Cool. So the halo roof is in and it's done. It's all carpet lined and it's all finished off really nicely. For the actual use of the LEDs, we managed to source some off uh, Amazon, so they weren't too expensive. Um, they come with a remote control and can also be controlled by an app on your phone. What you'll notice if you're getting a kit like that is they come with a little sensor. The sensor itself We've just poked out the top up here, so if you want to turn it on, you kind of point at the sensor uh, and off you go. And then you can change the colours and have it dancing with music. So let's just take a little spin round and the rear. So you'll see up at the top here, we've built a custom made speaker box come shelf unit. Uh, so it's got a bit of storage in the centre and then a couple of speakers, obviously one either side. LED lighting down the side we've gone for tiny little LED lights that actually give out quite a bit of light they look really smart now the owners of this van are now here to pick it up um, so we're gonna do a little handover and let's check out their reaction you shoot it up there and that's your oh, halo stuff oh I love that colour 
Oh, that's lovely. I'll go with my cushions. <laughs> have a bit of pink. Aye, there we go. Aye. His eyes in the morning when he wakes up after all his gin. Oh, you've got a flippy flat thing as well. That's well called. That's that's me. That is because I have to do all the cooking and stuff. And oh, that's that's really good. And the TV. And all your music works as well. The and the TV. Yeah. And Speakers here so you can have a party when you put your barbecue yeah, going. Nice. And the yeah. solar panel that you'll never see because you're. Give me out of it. You're not. What are you laughing at? I hate you. <laughs> and it's off. Happy days. Awesome. And if you're interested in anything that happened during that video, just give us a shout. Myself and Simon are really happy to answer your questions. And yeah, see you guys in another video. Bye-bye now.